I absolutely love pantomime. I love everything about it. Some of my happiest, proudest memories of being on stage have been in pantomime. I had my 18th birthday doing Cinderella and it's just been such a huge part of my, of my career and of my life and I wouldn't change it for the world and I know a lot of people feel the same way I do. Pantomime. Christmas. A magical time. I love standing on that stage in a wonderful costume, making an audience laugh and then pulling in the strings. <sighs> and letting them see the drama. I love telling the story in the midst of magical things going on around me, the lights changing, the dancers dancing, and the audience having the best time of their lives. To understand the importance of pantomime, we have to cast our minds back to where it began. They say that the father of pantomime was a man called John Rich, who founded pantomime in the 1700s. Panto changed forever in the 1860s with the arrival of the Ugly Sisters and the Dames. Over the years, Panto has continued to evolve. So from like simple sets and small casts to now some huge budget productions that you see in the Palladium and the big theatres around the UK. In 2018, Dick Whittington and the London Palladium won the Olivier Award for Best Family Entertainment. Panto has actually performed all around the world with Pantos appearing in Canada, South Africa, Australia, but nobody takes panto to heart like the British. Each year, over three million people go to a live pantomime in the UK, and ticket sales from pantomimes are said to generate about 60 million pounds for the UK theatre industry. And for some theatres, panto ticket sales can equate to about 30% of their annual turnover. So pantomime is essential, and it really is the lifeblood of UK theatre. Due to COVID, many theatres, possibly all of them, will not be able to put on a pantomime this year. And this makes me incredibly sad, mainly because for most theatres, pantomime is the absolute lifeline that keeps them going through the year. A year without panto is sad for so many reasons, not just for the loss of income for the theatres and people working in the industry, but for some people, going to the panto and the experience of that is as traditional as putting up their Christmas tree. Panto has always been and will always be about families. It's family time. You can go with your 95-year-old granny or your two-year-old grandson and there's something for everybody. Panto is Christmas. A time when the whole family can get together. A chance for them to put their phones down and live in the moment. That's what it's all about. It brings the community together. It is a British institution. It's not just the money from professional pantomimes that gets put to good use. Amateur pantomimes use the money they generate to fund some amazing community schemes. I run Ox Hill Youth Club since uh, 1976 when we first did our first pantomime. Averaging out approximately about 45 children from the age of 8 to 19 every year in the pantomime. Without the money that we raised from our pantomime, we would not be able to run our youth club. It pays for a lot of things that the children need, a lot of activities that the children would like to do, and it's a lifesaver really for us. One of the things that Panto provides every year are performances called relaxed performances. Now, these shows are done with the lights up, in the auditorium, perhaps the music turned down slightly, no crashes and bangs, so that anybody who has a member of their family who's on the autistic spectrum, who would perhaps find the regular show more difficult to cope with, is welcomed into the theatre. Why is pantomime so successful? Because you have the best time in a theatre, and it's been there for years and years and years. And for theatre, it's such an important part of their year because it can introduce children to the theatre and then they might never leave. This year, if the panto doesn't happen, I'm going to miss everything about it. The costumes, the cast being on the stage, I miss it all. There is no better place than dancing on that stage. Pantomime has been a huge part of my life ever since I was two and a half uh, when I started doing my local amateur pantomimes. And 
To this day, it's still some of the happiest memories I have. Pantomime is such a huge, vital tradition and lifeline to this country. And also introducing children to the magic of theatre, because pantomime is something that every generation can enjoy. And it's sometimes the first experience a child will ever have of going to a theatre. And that is why it is so important. And that is why I love it so very much. Pantomime has survived two world wars the flu pandemic of 1917, the current Covid crisis. It survived, it will be back. Panto will be back. Panto will be back. But we will be back. We will be there. And we will see you at a pantomime very soon. Panto always has a happy ending, so Panto will be back. What can you do in the meantime? If your local theatre's putting on a Christmas concert, buy a ticket if you can afford to. If their cafe's open, Go and have a cup of coffee, get yourself a slice of cake. Supporting your local theatre means that you're helping to ensure that next year, Panto will be back. I love pantomime. Traditionally, pantomimes end with a poem, and we've got a very special one written by award-winning pantomime dame, Clive Rowe. Here are some of the things I'll miss because for me, Panto isn't happening this year. I'll miss the roar and thunder of a school's matinee full of kids on their last trip before their festive holiday, all singing along to a well-known song, not quite believing that for one day noise isn't wrong. The evenings and the weekend shows with families filling up the rows, their children dancing in the aisles, emboldened by their parents' smiles, their teenage siblings in a daze emerging from their social media texting haze, adults on their works outing. It's behind you, booing, shouting. Grandparents bursting with pride for all their generations by their side. The exhilaration exhaustion brings from 12 shows a week playing paupers through to kings. All this I'll miss and much, much more until once again I open Panto's door. So, please, during these unprecedented times, support your local theatre and, of course, pantomime. Trust me, without pantomime, Christmas would be really boring and I'd have to get a proper job. Anyway, I'm going now because uh, I'm lost. I know you think I'm acting, but I've got this on a tripod. I really am lost. Help. I'm not sure if it's that way or that way. <laughs>